How you doing guys, this is Hybrid Steel and welcome back to Hydronia 2.2 and today we're going to be talking about one of these brand new vehicles The Mole or I'm just going to call it The Mole Basically, this thing can dig underground, overground and it can womble free as well and at the end of the day, it's a little bit sluggish it's a little bit slow but it's, is it going to be an OP thing? Yeah, I think so As you can tell, it does sort of just cut into stuff It is a bit like dangerous as well but at the same time, it's quite fun so if you're looking to flatten out an entire area, you can do it with this, but I would normally use this down for, I don't know, digging tunnels underground. That's pretty much where I'd be. I, what I would be doing is I'd be setting up a little ramp system to go down to a certain level, and then I'm taking this bad boy for a test run. But, so we're, we're on standard right now. If I hold down the right mouse bumper and tilt down, or up, sorry, it, the blade tilts down. If I pull it down, then the blade tilts up. Obviously, you can reverse control this as well if you really want. So we're going to try and keep it in the middle. And we're going to be all right. Next thing you want to do is if you push left mouse. Oh, yes. The blades, they do start rolling. And as you can see, it's already taken out a little chunk. And as I move forward, you can see the land changing a little bit here and there. And the reason why we're going down is because we are facing down. Now, if I don't want to go down anymore, if I just pull the blade up, obviously, I'm going to now go down a little hole. And as you can see, you can sort of know where you're going. And there we go. We're on flat land right now, okay? Now, it has three settings. Either up, down, or... So, it has up. Oh, you can't see this because it's inside a cave. So, the top setting is this one, the middle setting is the middle one, and if I go down again, then I'm in the bottom, okay? So it builds at angles, it builds at straights, and it builds at going up angles as well. Let me just turn this off. There we go. So, if I want to build a little road, I'm going to put it into straight mode, I'm going to turn it on, and we're just going to drive in a straight line. Okay? Just driving in a straight line. Look how nice that works. I feel like a person out of QVC trying to teach people how to do stuff. It's amazing. So if I pull down on it, it's going to go up. So if I wanted to go up into the mountain or I'm in that bottom level, I can pull this up and I can actually build the tunnel going up. Or if I want to go down and I want to go down a couple of floors, then I will do this. And then I will level it out. And then we're just going to mole underground and come out the other end. And there you go. And that's basically how the mole machine works. Now, if you want that level wall, take it a little bit slow to start with. And then it will basically just wall, it will just go on a level plane for you. As long as it work, as long as it's working and it's not moving any dirt. Like, as you can see, the scenery is still sort of moving at the top. That means it hasn't flattened out the proper area yet. But as I move forward, I'm trying to keep it at that level. And it's just going to take it. It just takes a little bit of time to do stuff and we're all good. If I point this straight up, then it's going to take me up. Okay. If I put it down to middle, then we're just going to be driving straight. The faster you go, the narrower the hole. So if you want to, if you want to do things a little bit slower, it will help. It'll widen the hole as wide as the blades will go. And you'll go there. If you go really, really fast, the tunnel will get narrower and narrower because it hasn't had enough time to focus so it's depending on the sort of mine you're going to be looking at is depending on how you want to be building me personally i'll probably be using this for clearing out quite large areas underground because i'm not using mods i'm fully down to not doing it because there's now a trophy list trophies in hydronia now exist which is amazing so yeah we're now going to be doing those this is me coming up and out oh and would you look at that and there we are the mole and that's pretty cool so yeah, I'm going to be using this sparingly. If I'm going to be honest, it's going to be... Um, I don't really want to mess up my mines too much, so I don't know how I'm going to be using this just yet. I might just use this when I get down to like tier 3, and I just want to clear out the whole bottom area. I think this is going to be the way I'm going to be using it, but if you have a look at some of the stuff I've done all over this landscape now, I've, I was trying to figure out how to make it work properly. And yeah, I did a couple of little test holes. I took out an entire area. I, I was just seeing what I could do with it. And genuinely... It works quite well, depending on how you set your level. So you have to make sure it's on a straight. If you want a straight, if you want to go down, you go down and so on and so forth. So getting to that level that you want to be at might just be easy with the mole. But it does cost tokens. That is the downside. You do have to um, you have to raise the collateral for it, basically. But apart from that, I thought it was pretty cool. It's a nice little addition to Hydronia. And it means that you, your builds can get a bit more varied with uh, different levels and landscapes being made by different people now. I think it's pretty. I think it's all right. And... Uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this one. So thank you very much for coming by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed this, hit the like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. And I will be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else to do on this channel. If you have any questions down in the comment section below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Or what do you think of the mold? Because I think it's pretty cool. But what do you think about it? Because you're the ones who are going to be using it as well. Until my next one, bye-bye for now.